So bariatric surgery turns out to be extremely successful. Still the gold standard, although I think that the uh, GLP-1s and the GIPs are fast coming in and about to replace bariatric surgery as the gold standard. Very successful. The rates are growing massively. Biggest problem being insurance coverage, of course. There's many different types of bariatric surgery, but really at the end of the day, all you're doing is limiting what a person eats with a mechanical limitation. So by changing the size of the stomach or bypassing the stomach, you're effectively limiting what somebody eats or absorbs mechanically. So it is mechanical portion control is what I think of when I think of bariatric surgery. However, they've also found that after bariatric surgery, people's levels of GLP-1, which is semaglutide or ozembic, is a synthetic form. The natural levels of GLP-1 seem to be higher in people after bariatric surgery. And I'm gonna tell you later how the GLP-1s work, but basically it changes the craving profile and the reward need in the brain and also makes people feel like distended or fuller. So there's multiple signals going on that limit what people need to eat based on this GLP-1 signal and they have the mechanical portion control. So bariatric surgery has been very, very successful. However, it is a surgery, and who wants surgery if they don't have to have it?